I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Every day for the past couple of weeks since school has been out, I have sat at my desk trying to figure out what I could say in the speech to finally get a sense of closure. A sense that despite not having the prom or quite the proper ending of our high school careers, that we are able to leave knowing that our legacy was not and will not be taken over by this disease. Because we have gone through too much and accomplished so much for us to be only remembered as a class that got stuck in the middle of this crisis. But perhaps we will be remembered as a class that worked in unity to bring back sports assemblies. The class that encountered some of the biggest challenges but overcame them. Or as a class that wasn't afraid to make big changes, such as moving homecoming to the field house. The class that created a new and renewed tenant spirit that did a white powder toss on homecoming against GBN on their home turf and beat them 21 to 14 on their homecoming. So when someone comes up to me and asks if I was part of the GBS class of 2020 that got stuck in the middle of this crisis, I would say, yeah. But if that's the only thing you know about us, you are missing one hell of a story. To everyone at GBS who has helped make our story over the past four years, teachers, administrators, counselors, custodians, parapros, and everybody else. We thank you for an amazing high school experience. Truly, we could not have done it without you. And to you, the Glenbrook South class of 2020, let's forget everything that's going on around this world just for this one moment, because this is our time. This is our moment that we have worked so hard for over these past four years. This is the day we get to celebrate for all those long nights of studying and for all those early morning practices, for all the work and dedication we poured out for our clubs and for our passions, all the obstacles we've had to overcome just to get to this day. And now we finally made it. So just for this one moment, let's celebrate. But after today, after this moment, Let's go back into the real world that so desperately needs us to create change, to make this world a better place. And I'm confident that each and every one of us will do just that. As we set off to open up the next chapter of our lives, I'm excited to see where life takes us. But no matter where or how far away we go, deep inside our hearts will be the memories and the friendships we created at Glenbrook South. Once a Titan, always a Titan. Glumbrook South Class of 2020, we did it. Now, our next journey begins. Members of the Board of Education, Dr. Johns, colleagues, family, friends, and members of the Glumbrook South Class of 2020. I am honored to speak to you today at the conclusion of my fifth year as principal of Glenbrook South. I have given many graduation speeches, including the five years I served as principal at a different high school. This year, of course, feels different. I've spent weeks thinking about what I should say to the students of this graduating class. How can I express how proud we are of their perseverance, and resilience during this unexpected and unprecedented crisis. Everyone experienced confusion and sadness, but as high school seniors, you took one of the hardest hits. The transition from high school to your next step, college, the workforce, or the military, is supposed to be full of celebration and reflection on what you've accomplished over the last four years. Even in the midst of a global pandemic that forced us to close the school building and cancel events, it is imperative that we still celebrate and reflect. Your class will always be remembered for how you stepped up in a time of crisis 
and showed your fellow Titans what it means to finish strong. At the same time, the crisis does not define you or your high school journey. Take time to think back on your freshman year of high school. Many of you grew up in Glenview and attended all of your school years in our community. While some of you may have started at a different high school and joined GBS later. What did you look like when you were 14 or 15? How did you think about things? Who were your friends? What did you know or think you know? And think about yourself now in the summer of 2020. How have you grown and matured? What have you learned about yourself and the world? What skills have you developed? What mistakes have you made? And how have you learned from them? How have the last few months changed your perspective on life? Your high school years are ending during a time of awakening in our country. I invite you to embrace the moment. You are coming of age at a time when I desperately hope our country is doing the same. It is long past time to face the reality of racism in our society. I urge you to take action during this historical movement. What can you do to reaffirm your commitment to treating all human beings with dignity and respect? If I had to choose one single piece of advice to give you, to take with you as you leave GBS, that is what it would be. Treat every human being with dignity and respect. That's it. Keep it simple. If we each can do that, collectively, we can make the world a much better place. Before I conclude, I want to thank the parents, grandparents, siblings, extended family members, and friends of the graduates. Thank you for supporting your students through their high school education. A school can only produce successful graduates with your partnership. We all share responsibility for keeping our students safe and ensuring they have a positive and productive high school experience. Today is a celebration of your hard work as well. Graduates, thank you for being a part of the Titan community and contributing to South Spirit. By spirit, I mean more than just the fun we had at football or basketball games, homecoming dances, sports and spirit assemblies, and spring fling. By spirit, I mean the way you showed up each day, participated in your classes, engaged in your activities, practiced and competed with your teammates, and enjoyed being with each other. Just by being you, you made our school better. I am proud of your academic, athletic, and extracurricular achievements. But more important, I am proud of the young adults you have become. I wish each one of you all the best in health and happiness as you move on to the next chapter in your lives. Dr. Johns, I hereby certify that each student who crossed the stage has met the graduation requirements of Glenbrook High School District 225, and I am proud to present to you the Glenbrook South Class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fagel. While this ceremony is unlike any commencement ceremony that this district has ever held or even considered, it is still a momentous occasion and I am honored to be a part of today's ceremony. It is still an exciting and joyous occasion as we celebrate our Titans with great pride. I wish to thank you for another school year at Glenbrook South. While I have only been a part of the district for somewhat less than a year, I am deeply grateful to have had the chance to work with you and see your passion, vision, and enthusiasm. Thank you for your wonderful leadership of this amazing school. I also want to thank you and those who worked so hard to make sure that there were special moments this spring to commemorate the important milestones of our seniors. I want to thank the friends and family and loved ones who are with us today to support our graduates. 
You have provided the support and encouragement that has enabled these young people to shine, and you have bolstered them in times that were difficult. While we are here to acknowledge our graduates, we would be remiss if we did not recognize those that helped them reach this milestone. Included in this list are our wonderful staff. You amaze me on a daily basis. You have my personal gratitude as you provide the path of opportunity to so many students each day. The atmosphere of positivity, growth, passion, and rigor has made a mark on these graduates, their families, the community, and eventually the world. Thank you. As I mentioned earlier, this is a commencement ceremony unlike any there have ever been held in our district, or most districts for that matter. What was once unforeseeable will be on the minds of every student, parent, and educator for years and years to come. While many of us like to find features or characteristics that make us unique from others, this is probably not a way of being unique that our graduates would have selected. It has been heartwarming to see how loved ones, family members, and staff have gone to great lengths to support this class through these times. A measure of this can be seen in our communities by the posters, ribbons, and banners that have been erected around the district. Videos and staff media posts from friends, family, and staff seem to cover the internet with supportive messages and hearty congratulations. While there was a loss in the big moments such as prom, award ceremonies, shows, and competitions, there was even a loss in the mundane. Recently, a teacher shared an exchange that he had had with a remarkable young woman, one of your classmates, who said, I don't know how much I love school until now, knowing I won't roam the halls with it being my own. The interruption of a sense of place and belonging happened too, and that is very meaningful. Graduates, you are fully entitled to your sense of loss and to grieve what has been lost. Through this period of time, just as that student gained a new perspective on what school meant to her, I suspect that you grew in ways that one could never have imagined. You showed fortitude, strength, and resilience. Just as the end of high school is in sight, you are confident in your eventual success then everything that was familiar changed. Yet you rebounded and adapted to a new way of learning and interacting. Despite obstacles, you continued to see through to the end. You showed tenacity and your caring spirit too. To fight off the loneliness of the stay-at-home order, you reached out to more people and more often. You enjoyed social media posts and seeing the videos from your teachers and fellow students. Many of you participated in efforts to help others in our towns who were struggling. You may have developed an appreciation for those around you in ways that you may not have imagined. During this time, you cared and you were cared for. I'm confident that you will use this experience, the adaptation of skills and experiences, to be prepared for periods of uncertainty that lie ahead. You will have an added measure of confidence because you know that you have succeeded with similar struggles before. I hope that these are habits and behaviors that you will hold on to as they give you a perspective that others simply don't have. With the education and academics, the arts, athletics, and activities that you have gained over the past four years, I hope you continue to build on this knowledge and perspective as you address the issues of our society. As this day moves forward and you are able to spend time with friends and loved ones, as the future becomes more clear and new sources of excitement materialize, I encourage you to reflect beyond the last two and a half months and at the 33 and a half months that preceded them. Don't let the past weeks be the totality of your high school experience. It might set you apart, but it doesn't define you. Reflect upon and re-enjoy the full experience. Throughout your high school career, you were together, learning, competing, performing, creating, sharing, and very importantly, making the world a better place. In all ways, you have continued the Glenbrook tradition of excellence, service, and achievement. You are well prepared to continue to do so as you progress into the next chapter of your lives. I know that I share the feelings of all of us when I say that I could not be more proud of the class of 2020. You have allowed your school to become a part of you, and you are a part of your school's history. Yours obviously is a little different than others. And while you won't be roaming the halls, your school is always yours. Your memories of school will always be your own and they will be with you and shape who you will become. Your school will be here for you and we look forward to your return. Until then, congratulations, class of 2020.
living in the moment And here we are dreaming in the open Now look around, isn't this a new day? Make a move, doing things a new way A new way Cause this is our world this is our time These are our plans We're gonna let them shine This is our place In the human race And we won't stop dreaming No, we won't stop dreaming Look ahead, we can see forever Light it up, we can be a million stars Look at us, don't you see we've come so far Yeah, we've come so far Cause this is our world And this is our time And these are our plans We're gonna let them shine this is our place In the human race And we won't stop dreaming No, we won't stop dreaming Standing at the crossroads Feeling how the wind blows We can soar above the clouds Every moment is a heartbeat and every and who can say what happens now? Cause this is our world This is our time These are our plans We're gonna let them shine This is our place In the human race And we want